Welcome. Uh, this is going to be a new mini-series of computer basics webinars that I'm going to do here uh, just to cover some of the, the common questions. And so what we're going to talk about here today in this uh, uh, first part of the series is tabbed browsing and tabs um, and how to use uh, uh, multiple tabs. So in uh, every browser you'll have up at the top a tab as you can see it outlined here it looks kind of like um, the old manila folder tabs right and always to the right of it you'll have a little square here or in some browsers it might be a plus sign to open another tab and so if we want multiple tabs open we just click on that and now we have a new tab now in this tab over here we can go to eBay dot com for example and just press enter after we've typed in the address and if we type the address correctly with no spaces it'll go straight to the web address that uh, we typed in uh, and then if we want over in this other tab to go to say wayfair.com or maybe we want think geek.com or perhaps we need paypal.com so as you can see here we have all of these different tabs open and all we have to do is click on which tab we want and we can go back and forth between the tabs now something else I want you to pay attention to here is you'll notice that these tabs and I'll zoom in here to show you this close each tab has a little icon there. These sites, this is their, it's called a favicon. This is their favicon or their icon for their site. So this little icon that looks like a basket, colored basket or, or bag uh, or briefcase, whatever you want to call it, that's eBay's logo or their, um, their icon logo. Over here for Wayfair, notice their logo looks like this little colored cross thing, almost like a, a cross of band-aids or something there. And then ThinkGeek has the little monkey, and then PayPal has the P. So they each have that little part of their logo uh, as an icon that will show up usually in the tabs. So you can move between tabs just by clicking on the tab that you want. If you click the X, that's going to close the tab, and we'll no longer have access to that site. If we want to go back to it, we have to go click it. Okay. So that's tabs. I'm using the Chrome browser on a Microsoft, um, or I'm sorry, not a Microsoft, a Mac computer, a MacBook Pro. So uh, that uh, that's what we're looking at here. Now, if we want to see it in another browser, I can open up another one here. Uh, another thing that would be important to look at too as I'm looking for another browser to open is the browser icons. So this picture right here is Google Chrome with the circle that has the green, red, yellow, and then blue in the center. And then this with the fox around a blue globe, that's Firefox. That's another browser. We can open that one and take a look at that. And that's the one that has the plus signs there. I'll show you that in a moment. And then Safari is the one that's common on a Mac computer, and that's right here. And so Safari um, doesn't look like it has tabs. Um, they do things a little bit differently here. So if we go to eBay.com, we can open up uh, the eBay site. But if we want to open another one, they have a plus sign right here. Nope, that's to add it to the that's a to add it to your favorites. Oh, where did they put it? Okay, it looks like it's over there on the side. Okay, so instead of tabs initially, you come to the far corner here and they've got this little plus sign. That opens tabs. So now we have our eBay electronics and notice they don't use favicon, so there's no icon in there, and then the Yahoo search page right here. And so those are the two tabs. The tab that is active is a light gray. The dark gray is the one that's not active. So that's Safari. I don't recommend using Safari. Um, I don't recommend using 
the uh, Firefox either. Uh, the best browser to use is going to be uh, Google Chrome. Okay, but here in Firefox, if if that's what works for you, uh, they've got a tab here that's very square, and then click the plus sign to open a new tab. And notice if you hover over it, it tells you there what it's for. It says open new tab. So you'll usually have some little uh, note like that that's called a um, pop-up text or alt text that pops up there. Um, you'll usually have something like that. So if you're wondering how to do something or what something does, just hold your cursor on it for a second or two and it'll pop up like that. Okay. So that gives you a little bit about browse, uh, tabbed browsing. Um, let's close this Firefox tab and get back into our tab for Chrome. So there's our Chrome tabs. And so we can move between the tabs just like that. And uh, so let's talk uh, next. I'm going to do another short video that will talk about bookmark bars. And uh, we'll go to that. So. Just keep in mind you want to open a new tab to go to a new page with this little link there. And then you can go to any website you want to and have all of those open. Keep them open as long as you need them as you're moving between the tabs. Um, but also keep in mind if we're sitting here on ThinkGeek and then we use this tab to go to one of our bookmarks, for example, which I'm going to show you in another video, then it's going to replace ThinkGeek. If we click somewhere else, it's going to remove us from this site and move us to the other site wherever we're going. Or if we replace this, then that gets rid of this site. So if we want to keep that site, then we don't want to go away from it. We don't want to close it. We don't want to use this tab for something else. That's where we'll go and open a new tab to get to the other website. So I hope that's been helpful for you with the basics of tab browsing. Um, look for the next video in the series that will talk about some of the other uh, computer basic skills.